Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, uh, Wokey, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost. And hey, it's t it's the weekend, and I'm actually able to talk to you without Vanessa, and I'm not super low either. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I'm here to talk about the brand new unit that's coming with the um, Gala Banner Remix, Sheila. And yeah, let's get into it. So, this is surprising, because a lot of people were expecting her to be, um, the Kali unit for the 3.5. So, it looks like she isn't anymore. <laughs> and it's gonna be, chances are, um, I, I want to say his name is Nevin, but I'm just gonna call him Edgy Bro. Shadow the Hedgehog. Chances are it's gonna be Shadow the Hedgehog now. <laughs> uh... But let's go into what she does, huh? After regaining her heart, Sheila has awakened as an Auspex. Though her soul was imprisoned by black mana for an age, her bond with her father brought it back. She has donned an Auspex garb to set out on a new path. Looking very nice here. I accept all the consequences of my actions and choose with my own heart. Good for her. Carmine Rush. Mm, deals damage to enemies in a line. Uh, lowers their flame resistance and applies evil's bane to them. This skill is used directly after the user's second skill, a variant called uh, Bright Carmen Rush will be used instead. Bright Carmen Rush deals damage to enemies in a line, lowers their flame resistance, and applies evil's bane to them. Also, if the user has Blaze Wolf's Rush effect, Bright Carmen Rush consumes it and immediately readies the user's second skill for use. The damage is 190 over 2 hits, damage is 380 over 3 hits, skill energy required is 4480, special effects, flame resistance minus 15%, and evil's bane 15%. Is that right? Yeah, flame resistance minus 50. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me if I sound a little tired. I just got off of work and it was a long ass day. Anyway, let's continue. After skill change, damage is 190 over 4 hits. Uh, damage is also 380 over 6 hits. And skill energy required is the same. And the flame resistance and evil's bane uh, are basically the same, except for evil's bane lasts 15 more seconds when used with the second skill. Flame Raid, which is a shareable 5 cost, deals damage to surrounding enemies, dispels one buff from each target, and inflicts burn. If this skill is used directly after the user's initial skill, display the top of their skill list a variant called Savage Flame Raid will be used instead. Save Savage Flame Raid deals damage to surrounding enemies, dispels one buff from each target, and inflicts Scorched. Also, if the user has Blaze Wolf's uh, Rush effect, Savage Flame Raid consumes it and immediately readies the user's initial skill for use. Damage is 200 over 7 hits, for the exact same as skill 1 actually, 4480. Special effects are Dispel, Burn, after skill change is 250 over 7 hits. Same skill energy required, but if it's a shared skill it is 10,528. Special effects Dispel's buff, Scorched. Her co-op ability is Critical Rate Up 10%. Her chain co-op ability is Flame Amp equals Shapeshift Prep 5. Uh, her abilities are The Way of the Blaze Wolf 2. Adds 20% of the modifier applied to critical damage against enemies that have Evil's Bane effect. In addition, the user's second skill will deal critical damage to enemies with Evil's Bane. This crit will reset the user's inspiration level if the user is inspired. Also, swiping the dodge during a standard attack will deal damage to surrounding enemies. Performing a standard attack during this unique dodge will then resume the user's standard attack combo with their most recent attack. Dodging again immediately after the user's unique dodge will instead result in a standard dodge. Uh, additionally, when the user's first or second skill for the duration of the attack, the user will be immune to knockback and damage taken will be reduced by 50%. Finally, increase standard movement speed by 35%. This increase does not affect movement speed while sprinting or while shapeshift. Uh, Unyielding Spirit 2. Reduce susceptibility to stun and sleep by 100%. Royal Steel 2. The fourth attack in the user's standard attack uh, combo grants a critical damage amp with a maximum team amp level of 1. And the seventh attack in the user's standard attack combo grants them the Blaze Wolf Rush effect. Blaze Wolf Rush will not stack. Also, using the user's initial skill displayed on the top of their skill list grants them a defense amp with a maximum team amp level of one. Yeah, so that's Sheila. She is. So they've been doing this for a while. If you don't know, she's not limited. Not limited at all. So she's going to always be in the banner. Uh, that doesn't matter though, because they built her basically like a gala <laughs> without being a gala. <laughs> She's probably as good as any gala, if not better than some. She seems crazy fucking good. 
Uh, she has a lot of stuff related to crit, which is nice, which is uh, always nice to have. She has a lot of the, she has burn, she has scourge, she has basically what you need. She has the spell, she has everything you need from a fire unit, um, for sure. So it should be in no way possible, no way possible. It should be extremely possible for you to make a team, a good fire team using her. Um, and since we're so close to the anniversary, it only makes sense for them to release a unit this good beforehand. It's so weird that it keeps happening to red, though. Like, if I had a nickel for every red unit that released, um, and a gala remix, who was gala tier but was not a gala, I have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. <laughs> um, yeah, and then also this banner in general. It also has gala mim, who I love gala mim. She's probably not as strong as she was back when they did the original buff, but you can blame that all on Nihility. Thanks a lot, Nihility. Uh, though I still like her a whole bunch, and I still, still think she's perfectly solid at what you need to do. As someone who plays the game the way I do, I literally only use Mim, so... <laughs> I used her before the Spiral, and I still use her now, and she's still good. She's just not the toppity top 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 like she used to be. Still pretty good, though. Um, and then we have Gallimars, who is probably the best fire dragon in existence, not the strongest fire dragon, but just in general the best because this ability right here, if the user is attuned to fly and fill 100% of the skill gauges when the user shapeshift is undone, will never, will never be bad. If there's ever a case where this ability has been power crept, we have a problem. The game is shutting down because this ability is just too good. The way you use it with Mars, it's completely shaped the way um, fire units are built and released forward. And the same goes for fire dragon units. Because if you notice, all the fire dragon units are built stronger or they do things that Gallimars can't do, which is basically this. Because Gallimars in his actual dragon form is not like the greatest thing in the world. What matters is this ability. That he grants, which is amazing. Like even this ability, I'm like, oh yeah, he does have this ability. But all that matters is this ability right here that he's got. So if you're lacking in a fire units, I think this is a pretty good banner because you'll get Gallum. You have potential to get Gallum Mim, Gallum Mars, and also Sheila, who, like I said, is extremely good. Um, currently in, which is funny because in red, it's actually very hard to kind of break into it just because it's so set in the ways. It's basically set in the Galileanitis days, just because he has such a firm grip over what you need. Like his specific build is considered, I think it's like all limiteds too, it's just considered basically Exodia. Um, so that can be a little bit taunting. So definitely for someone who cares about having just the at most, most powerful fire i think it's likely that sheila will find a place in there pretty easily like i'm sure once she's released people are going to figure out a way like if i'm looking at what she does and i'm going damn she good that must mean she's actually extremely good <laughs> but to be fair i think a lot of units are kind of good actually no i didn't think kid ranzel was good and i was right on that one they built that boy bad they did bad to that boy anyway uh, we'll have to still see how our combo goes. We Many people are assuming it's going to be kind of like Galakatov, because Galakatov has a very similar wording on his combo. And also, she's his daughter, so... Seems kind of makes sense to kind of include that in there, wouldn't it? Yeah! Good luck if you're summoning for it. It's so close to 3.5 anniversary, I'm not summoning. I'll live with the consequences. I already have, like I said, I already have my fire team completely built up. I have my... Like, here's the thing, if I, the more good units I start to add, the more I have less justification for using Mim. And that's just not going to happen in my eyes. Though, to be fair, she does get ship shape proof. You know what, never mind. I'm going to keep waiting for 3.5, because I know for a fact it's going to be a pain in the ass to pull anything on that banner. So I'd rather wait, because it's really close. It's basically at the end of the month we'll start hearing some stuff. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, everyone. Tell me how you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna pull or not, because I assume most people, as always, I say you should pull because you like the character. If you're someone who pulls for power, then more power to you. You're gonna be constantly pulling. Um, I prefer to pull for characters and to get what you want. And it's a shame that she's not the actual Galleon for 3.5, because I think I actually would care for her more than what they got for 3.5. But because she's not limited, I have a feeling that with my bad luck, I'm gonna end up getting 
uh, a dupe of her while chasing after it. Which, funny enough, it's happened before. <laughs> the other reason I'm not summoning on this is because I have, like, I've pulled, like, ten Gala Marses and five Gala Mims in the course of my life. I don't need any more, so I'm good. But yeah, tell me if you're planning on doing anything or how you feel about them. If you disagree with anything I say, go at it. And also remember to leave a like if you feel like it, of course. Unless you just absolutely hate it. It's so weird now that YouTube doesn't have dislikes anymore. The only way for me to know if you don't like something is to just, like, outright tell me. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> feel free to subscribe to me if you want some more videos featuring me. And I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a good day. Have a good night. Goodbye.